Hi everybody, it's time for a quick look inside Vancouver Public Schools. I'm Nick Bull. In February, Vancouver voters will be asked to pass two levies to support local students. There are a lot of numbers and a lot of things have changed when it comes to school funding, so we're going to break it all down for you. The first is an education and operations levy. It pays for basic programs and services, things like teacher salaries, classroom supplies, sports, music, special education, and more. The second is a uh, technology levy. It pays for classroom tech, like tablets, computers, and also teacher training. Neither of these levies are new. They are replacing current levies, which are set to expire. Let's take a longer look at the Education and Operations Levy, or ENO. Amanda Richter joins us now with all the details. Amanda? The recent McCleary decision from the Washington Supreme Court resulted in more money coming from the state, but it still only funds about 78% of the district's budget. That's where the Education and Operations Levy comes in. Here's a list of just some of what it pays for. These things are everyday expenses, things that make schools better places to learn for students. It includes teacher and staff salaries and more, and it has a major impact on class sizes. The state funds 28.7 students per teacher at the high school level, so anytime you see a class size that's lower than that, you know that it's education and operations levy that's providing for that lower class size to meet the unique needs of that student group. As you may have noticed, the levy pays for things that our community expects of its schools. Here are some examples. The state only pays for about four safety and security and nursing positions for the entire district. VPS has 37 buildings with students, so it uses levy funds to boost staffing. When it comes to services for students with special needs, the state funding falls about $4 million short of the legal requirement. Without a levy, we would really, really have to cut other programs just to meet those legal obligations. The levy also pays for non-academic programs that help students find success in the classroom. Anytime you talk about athletics or band or some of our knowledge bowl, um, debate team, those are all um, exclusively funded by the education and operations levy. And those are things we've heard from our community that they value greatly for, for their students as well as their own entertainment and, and appreciation. Um, the state provides zero dollars for those activities. So what is the rate, especially now with the change to the state formula? The levy will cost $1.50 per $1,000 of assessed property value. That number is capped by the state. For a comparison, the current levy, which will expire in 2019, is $2.64. That means the local rate you're paying will be less than before. Vancouver has a long history of supporting local schools through its levies. The fact that our levies have been supported since 1964 without failure is nearly unprecedented in this region um, is, is just an exceptional testament to the, the commitment that our community makes to its children. If approved by voters, the education and operations levy would remain in place for four years. Back to you. Thanks, Amanda. The levy election is February 12th, and that's when your ballot must be dropped off or postmarked by. Any registered voter within the VPS boundary is eligible to vote. Unlike a bond measure, a simple majority of over 50% will pass these levies. And that brings us to a frequently asked question. What's the difference between a bond and a levy? A bond is like a loan the community takes out to build new school buildings. In 2017, voters said yes to a bond measure in Vancouver. But a bond can't be used to pay salaries or other everyday expenses. That is what a levy is for. Again, Vancouver voters have consistently said yes to levies since 1964. And we know this is a lot of information, but if you have more questions, the district's website is a great place to start. Head to vanisd.org slash levy. You'll find the numbers, the formula to calculate how much you'd pay, frequently asked questions, and a whole lot more. There's also a link to submit a question if you don't find what you're looking for. Again, vanisd.org slash levy. Hey, check this out. Let's see one of our favorite social media posts of late. This one comes from Sacagawea Elementary. LSW Architects and Seize the Bagel sponsored a Books and Bagels event to bring families in for breakfast and free books for the kids. What a great way to encourage reading and to get parents into the classroom. Nice job to the Skyhawks. And if you are on social media, why not connect with Vancouver Public Schools? We are on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Until next time, I'm Nick Bull.